All right, so who wants to know how to make an ammeter or ammeter, whatever? First, you're gonna need, boom, breadboard. Next, Arduino. This is a, this has an AT Mega 328P on it, like the Uno. Um, FTDI, you don't need that for the Uno, it's built in. But for this one, it's not. So I had that. You're gonna need a one ohm resistor. Well, you don't need one ohm, but I would highly recommend it. It's five watts. Yeah, I think it's ceramic. So basically, you could put five volts at one amp through this thing, and it would work. Because when you put amperage and volts through a resistor, it creates heat. That's why this one is so big. Probably gonna need an LED to measure the uh, amperage. Um, let's see here. I have this because it takes five volts and it will also convert it down to 3.3 .3 volts. Why? That's just for the LED. So that's what I use for this because I already burnt out the red one for this. You can see it's a little bit black, but it won't focus for some reason. So the red one is blown out. So let's start by doing this. We'll plug it in. Yep, that's right. All right, we'll plug this guy in. Uh, let's see, where did this one want to go? See, that's the 3.3 .3 volt line, if I'm correct. Yep, it is. All right, I'm going to plug that in. Right, no, right here. So basically how this works is we'll use the analog, which is right here, and we'll have the first one measuring the actual voltage right here, like so the full voltage, and then we'll also send it across here, and then we'll have the analog 2 measure this side. This is the side that will power the LED. Now here's how we do it. According to Ohm's law, which I barely know, uh, there, it creates a voltage difference. And mathematically, that, that you can use that to find out the amperage that it consumes. So this one may be like, um, th this one will be 3.3 .3 volts, which will be around the 600s in uh, the Arduino. It, it'll it interpret it as 600. And then it'll be slightly less over here. And then you could compare them, subtract this from this, and boom, you have your amperage. So then we're going to plug this in right here. We'll plug this one into, this is a common cathode, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's common cathode, LED, or RGB. So plug that in. Now it should consume around 30 milliamps, if I'm correct. All right, so then we're going to take our VCC pin right here, boom. Plug that into, boom, to positive. Take our ground, which is right, correct, right here. Sorry for the camera, guys. It's terrible. Boom. That's terrible. All right. So we'll get the, we'll get the five volts. Come through here. Into the five volt. You using this regulator. We'll turn it down to 3 volts so now it's safe for the LED. Go through the resistor. And I should probably move this. Wow, you are terrible. Absolutely terrible. Yeah, Alright. Now we're going to insert our probes. Let's see. 10, 11, 12, 13, A0. Now this one measuring the full voltage. So the undisturbed voltage. And the rest will go through this one right here. I'm pretty sure this is the red. The red one is blown out, so that'll... Oops, sorry. So that'll be a complete short. So let's not use the red one. 
use the green side. Right. Boom, boom, boom. Done. So, I'll have the code in the description. All right, so let's see. Okay, so we have our probes here. So that, like I said, we have our 3.3 .3 volts. And it's gonna be slightly less over here because of the resistor. And then we have our LED running on the blue. Blue takes up a lot for some reason. So as you can see on the screen, current amps, round 24, 19. Don't know why it's switching so much. But if I do connect, let's see, this one. Why did my camera work so terrible? Okay, now we have the green on there too. And we can see it has indeed changed. I think the reason why this LED is switching so, so much is because uh, I ran five volts to do this thing and it is pretty much damaged. As you can see, yeah, all right. So I'll have this, whoops. One. Okay, I'm gonna run it through the red one, and it's just gonna short the whole thing. So, get that focused. Yeah, there you go. 160 milliamps. I tr I tried this on a digital multimeter. Boom. And I will show you that it equals the same. Right, now this thing's not terribly accurate, but we're switching between 0.2, 0.3. Here we have through here, 39.10 milliamps. Now the resolution ain't great uh, because the 39, it'll be within within two, two milliamps. The 0.10, I, I don't even know why it's there. It's not accurate up to that. But 0.3. Hmm. I think it's getting a bad re reading because of the, the resistor. If I take this out, boom. Obviously that's not reading it anything now. Point three. Put this back. Oops. We're getting around two four two nine. Not bad. So basically what I'm doing is let's uh do Ohm's law, let's see. So I already know the amperage being drawn from there. So uh, let's see. If we have point zero three volts difference between that resistor, so I have the uh, the voltmeter right here. I'm measuring boop boop right ac uh, across it, and the voltage difference between it is 0 0.03 volts. So 0 0.03 volts times one ohm, obviously, is again 0 0.03, and compared to an amp, 0 0.03 is 30 milliamps. If it were 0 0.3, it would be 300. Oops. And then, obviously, 3 would be 3 amps. So, that's how it works, because you have volts times ohms equals current. And viola or voila. That's how it works. And as you can see, 29.33. What's this? 0 0.003 or 0 0.03. And that's, I'm measuring voltage this time. Okay. I'm not measuring the amperage. So same thing. So here's how the code basically works. Let me open that up for you. meter no reference before I was using the Arduino's analog reference pin but I found out I could just use two analog pins 
and subtract them. So let's focus on that. Nope. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. Nope. Alright, so void setup. Serial begun, that, that's just to send this data out. Then we have to set our pin modes, A0, A1 as inputs, and I have them as floats because I'm not exactly sure what that means. All I know is it, it does 24.33. We, we, it, so it's not an in integer. We need that accuracy right there. So float ohms equals one. So I just have that set up. Let's see if we have volts. Where's volts? Volts equals, nah, it's raw amps equals volts times ohms, which is basically volts times one. But I just have that there in case I change the, the, the resistor. Flow reference. Our reference is the analog one. So I have that as the reference. So basically probe number two. Volts is going to be, well, let's see, where is it? Volts equals reference subtract read times five divided by 1023. That's basically our resolution. So my calculator. So the Arduino has a 10-bit uh, analog to digital converter. So if you have 10 bits, that means you have a, a resolution of 1023. So 5 volts. It can measure to a maximum of 5 volts. So basically, t one, or mm, I guess the accuracy that it can read, so 5 divided by 1023, so the accuracy, the smallest it can get, is within 0.004 volts. Not bad, if you ask me. So if you have 0 0.004 volts, or I think 4 millivolts, um, that will equal 1. Because the, the Arduino, it doesn't say, oh, you're at 3.3 .3 volts. It, it does anywhere between 0 and 1,023. So I'm basically c converting that into volts. So we focus again. This is pretty hard with, with one hand. Okay, then we have raw amps. This should just be called amps. I just make that equal 0. I'm just ma making all this equals 0 because... Uh, I don't want to basically, I have no idea what I'm doing. Anyway, integer i, I don't even know why I have that. That was me editing the code. Now here's our loop. Oh, I'm so shaky. All right, so read equals analog read a zero. So we're setting read to analog read a zero. The reason why I have it in loop rather than up there by, by uh, by the raw amps. Actually, I do have it there, but the reason why I have it down here also is to update it. And a, re a reference equals analog read. Doing the same thing. So volts equals reference subtract read. So the reference is gonna basically equal the full voltage, and the read is gonna equal, well, on this on this side of the LED, right here. This is read. So basically we're taking reference subtract read, that's the, di the difference, which is going to be 0 0.03 volts. And I times it by 5 divided by 1023 to make it into volts. It's weird math, I'll, I'll tell you. A anyway, raw amps equals volts times ohms, which basically does the same exact thing. Raw amps equals volts because the ohms is 1. If I change it to, to 0 0.10, then... I'll have to change the ohms up here to 0.10, and that way it, it will work. Then I serial print current amps, as you can see right there, current amps. Boom, 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 where am I? All right, uh, yes, okay, if raw amps is less than zero, so if, if I hook it up the wrong way, then I'd basically do raw amps times negative one. So raw amps equals raw amps times negative one because if I hook these up the wrong way then I'll have read subtract reference that basically will output a negative number I don't want a negative so 
that times by negative one if it's mixed up. Serial print, raw amps. If, it, if raw amps is less than one, then raw amps times a thousand. Basically that meaning if it's in the milliamps range, I don't want it coming out as 0 0.03, I want it coming out as a full number. And then to differentiate that, I have, raw, I have if raw amps is less than one, I will attach the milliamps. Else, if raw amps is equal to one, I will attach the amp, which will never equal one. And then we have, let me see, if not, if not uh, less than one, if not equal to one, then it will be amps. I can read up to five amps at, at five volts. And then we just have an extra space, a uh, little e equals thing, and a delay, and that's it. That's the code explained. Not too hard. Now my laptop's gonna fall.